Good morning, my friends. Today is Friday the 13th, Friday, September 13th. It's Friday of the 23rd week in Ordinary Time. It's day three of Beformed, and today the first video of season nine of Beformed uh, is available. If you'd like to watch that, whether you're participating in Beformed or not, it's available on my YouTube channel. Today's also the memorial of St. John Chrysostom, who lived uh, between 349 and 407 AD. Uh, he was, his nickname was Chrysostom, which means golden mouth. He had an ability to preach the word like few others. And so he was born in Antioch in Syria, what's now present-day Turkey. Uh, he spent four years as a hermit and then felt this call to become a priest in Antioch. He was known for his wonderful homilies and then eventually became the Bishop of Constantinople, which was the seat of the, the Byzantine Empire. He died uh, in, he was banished to Armenia because his preaching hit too close to home for some of the wrong people. And he died in Comana in 407 AD. So he's the patron of preachers. Today I'd like to focus my comments on the first reading from St. Paul to the Corinthians chapter 9. So St. Paul says, if I preach the gospel, there's no reason for me to boast because an obligation has been imposed on me. So why should we boast of something that God has called us to do? Or we've talked about already, St. Paul says, I should only boast in Christ because any good thing that I have comes from Christ. So if anybody compliments you, what do you say? Praise God. Acknowledge the gift they're given you and then recognize that it's God is the giver of all good gifts. He says, Woe to me if I do not preach the gospel. Paul is one of my heroes because it's, it's his desire to share the gospel no matter what, uh, you know, whether he's being, you know, tortured, beaten, pursued, you know, uh, he, he knows that his call is to spread the good news and there's nothing more important than that. He says, if I have a recompense, but if I do it unwillingly, you know, what good is that? I, I, in stewardship, Stewardship means using the gifts and talents God has given us, you know, for his glory. The gospel has been given to me free of charge. I need to offer it back freely and willingly. And he, so he, he goes on to say, uses a great sports analogy, which I like. Do you not know that the runners in the stadium all run the race, but only one wins the prize? Run so as to win. And so we are in this race of life. Uh, the goal is heaven and the good news is there's not just one winner, but God desires that all of us be with him for eternity. So he says, every athlete exercises discipline in every way. So when I was playing baseball, you know, we worked out, we practiced, we ran, we kept in shape. We tried to watch what we ate and drank in order to be the best athletes that we can be. In a similar way as disciples of Christ, how much discipline do we have in our lives? Do we fast? Do we pray? Do we study our faith? Do we participate regularly in the sacraments? Do we read the scriptures? Those are some of the basic ways that we who are running this race, you know, if we want to get to the end and be with God for all eternity, you know, he asks for faith and then he asks us to put our faith into action, to love him with our whole heart, mind, and soul, and then to love our neighbor as ourself. He says, we do this to win a perishable crown. This, you know, if as a baseball player, you know, our goal was to win, uh, you know, win the championship and get a ring. Uh, but he says, we do this for an imperishable crown, this crown in heaven. So I remember when I was chaplain for the, well, I still am the chaplain, but I was chaplain for the Cubs in 2016 when they won the World Series. A common question I get is, did you get a ring? Well, they divided it between paid employees and non-paid employees. I'm a volunteer, so I didn't get a ring. So the seminarians went online and got me this, this ring. Now, I don't know how it looks on camera. It might look really fancy, but it's $15 uh, online. Um, but it gives me a chance to speak to, especially young people, when they see this, uh, they'll say, they'll ooh and ah. And I say, you know, I, I won some rings, you know, playing in the College World Series and Honestly, I don't know exactly where they're at right now, but they're somewhere in my room collecting dust. Would it be cool to have a championship ring from the Cubs? Sure, but I wouldn't wear it celebrating Mass. But what I want is the imperishable crown, this crown of glory that St. Paul talks about 
that never collects dust, will never, you know, can never be taken away from us. So which crown are you working for? The crowns that disappear and collect dust or the crown of imperishable glory? So Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for your son, Jesus. We thank you for St. Paul. We thank you for calling us to be your disciples and to spread the good news. Help us to have faith in you and to put our faith into action. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share these videos with at least one person today. Tune to your families. Buen Camino, and God bless you.